Now there's not much I love more than a biryani and luckily that's exactly what food blogger Anissa is going to be showing me how to cook today. I cannot wait. Now this is a dish that I would have thought was actually quite complicated, but that's not the case, is it? This recipe is super simple. It's great for special occasions like Eid. And I got all the ingredients from Lidl, which made shopping easy peasy. What do we need to do? So we're going to add a dash of oil into our preheated pan. And then we're going yeah. to add in finely chopped onions. OK, here we go. And then we're just going to give that a stir. We're going to cook these until they're nice and golden brown. So now we're going to be adding in some chopped chilli. So if you could just chop those for me. Sure. The more seeds equals more spice. Do you like a spicy biryani? Yes, I do. I absolutely love it. <laughs> We're also going to bung in garlic, ginger, half a teaspoon of turmeric and red chilli powder. About that? Mm. That's perfect. We're going to fry this up for about two minutes and then we're going to be stirring in some passata. This is going to give it that extra texture and colour to it. And also we're going to be adding in the yoghurt as well. And this will add the creaminess to it. All of it? All of it. Wow. And a squeeze of lemon juice. Next, we're going to be mixing in some fresh mint. So is it important to use fresh herbs, do you think, for a biryani? Most definitely. Lidl's Oakland's range is fantastic for that. So let that simmer for five minutes, and then we're going to add in our cooked prawns. We're going to heat them through for two minutes. Salt and pepper. Can you rustle up the rice in the meantime? Absolutely. I don't want to miss out on the cooking, so I'm going to use Lidl's microwave rice. Two minutes. Done. Could you pass a pot with a lid, please? Why don't we use this? That's perfect. OK. We're going to be layering the bottom of this pan with rice. Oh, look at that. Now in goes the prawn masala. Mm -hmm. Spread it all over the rice, like this. Another layer of rice over the top. You can just throw that over. Pull back on a bit more rice, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be colouring that with some turmeric. Mix that up until it turns nice and yellow. And then this just gets sprinkled as and well. And just sprinkle that so you'll be able to see the white and the yellow grains of rice. And now we're going to zuzh it up with some peppers for colour. There we go. It's coming together. It's coming together. So is that us finished now? And it's just the finishing touches. Pop a lid on that as well. And we're just going to let the steam build up in there so the rice is nice and fluffy. And they'll be ready to serve. How long do we have to wait? Just five minutes. Well, it smells incredible already. Here we go. And to finish this off, we're going to sprinkle over some chopped <gasps> coriander. This looks sensational. Wow. 